anytime you need to enter the same data in different cells, whether they are adjacent or not, it's going to be a lot faster if you can use the control key instead of copying the entry over and over and over again. In this particular list in columns P through S, we are recording some transactions. And I'm looking at a sheet of paper here that has city names that are repeating. And as it turns out, in these first two cells here under the word city, we want the word Boston. We later want to see it right here. And then in two more cells down here. So rather than entering this once and then copying it, and that's a bit unwieldy, let's select these cells first. We can highlight the first two cells, release the left mouse button, and now with the control key held down, highlight the other cells that are needed. Highlight this one down here, highlight these two, and so on. I'm going to type Boston, and for the moment it looks as if this data is appearing only in cell P11, and that's what will happen if I press Enter, but I'll press Control Enter, and the word Boston goes in all those cells at the same time. Similarly, with numbers, it turns out that these three cells right here, and also this one right here, I don't even have the city name in just yet, also in these two cells, we need to have the number 10. Type 10, press Control Enter. So it works with numbers as well as with text and also with formulas. Let's imagine in this list right here, I want to get a median here for each of the states for that six-month period. I also want to do the same sort of thing over in columns B through F. So using the control key, I will highlight these cells. Makes no difference which order we highlight these in. But I'm now going to write the formula that I want, median, equal median. Notice that as I type this, it looks as if I'm typing this only for column B, and in a certain sense I am for the moment, I'll select just these cells. But instead of simply pressing Enter, I'll press Control Enter. And as we can see, the same relative formula has gone into all these using the median function in every single one of these in the correct way. That's a lot simpler than writing the formula once and then copying it into different locations. This technique comes in handy many, many times and as we saw earlier, for entering text, for entering numbers, and for entering formulas.